everybody, it's Gail from the Happy Stamper and the HappyStamper.com. I've got a quick and really cute card to share with you today, and I hope you'll give it a try. This is one of the items from the new celebration. Well, this is from the Occasions catalog, uh, but you can qualify for a free product from the Celebration catalog. So this is the card I'm going to show you how to put together today. It's super cute, and I totally cached this idea from Stampin' Up. They they actually send us ideas and ways of holding classes and parties and things, and so this is just a spin on that same class that they sent us. So this is using Cool Treats, which is a wonderful stamp set. Also comes with the matching dies, which is even better. Makes it super simple for cutting things out. But on this one, on this card today, I didn't even cut anything out. I just used the stamps from this. So let's get started. I've got all of my papers here for you, and everything is got some little sticky notes on it. Okay, so our base here is um, Watermelon Wonder, and so I've got my base here. And what this is, is it's half of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. So this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of our cardstock. Again, this is Wonder Watermelon Wonder, and it is cut at five and a half. And that's what we use to form a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And you simply are going to fold that in half like so. And this is also known as a porch, uh, yeah. No, landscape, because it can also go this way and open that way. But I'm going to use it this way, and so this is called a landscape. Then I've got a piece of our super cute designer series paper, and this coordinates with the cool treats. This also is from the Occasions 2017 catalog, and this piece is cut at four inches, by five and a quarter and basically it'll just leave a nice little edge all the way around our card. So I'm just going to go right on ahead and attach this with some snail adhesive and it's going to go like so. And this is the prettiest paper, oh my gosh, and it's like all watercolor looking, so it isn't super, you know, blue perfect. Okay, our focal piece, this is going to be two and a half by three and three quarters. Two and a half by three and three quarters. And that's what we're going to stamp our image on, and we'll do that in just a moment. And then I've got two more pieces. I've got a one inch by four one inch by four, and this is what we're gonna stamp our sentiment on. And then this piece is three quarters of an inch by four inches. And that's just going to be a piece that um, is a decorative element. So I'm just gonna set that aside for right now as well as that. So let's start with our crumb cake and we are going to stamp our ice cream cone and we're just going to get this good and inked up just tap 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 I'm gonna do this kind of down oh I had another stamp on there that I didn't even see oh my goodness that does happen you know all right I'm gonna put that over there um, just tap 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 and I'm gonna do this kind of down towards the bottom of my image piece, like so. Clean that off real quick. And set this to the side. Then I am going to come in with our ice cream. And my colors that I chose are Pool Party and Peekaboo Peach. And these colors all coordinate with the, excuse me, um, designer series paper. 
So we're going to come in with the yummy pool party. This reminds me of a pretty sherbet. And just do your best to line it up. Again, it's not perfect. This is not a Hallmark card that you went and bought. It's something you created with your own little hands. So it's supposed to look watercolored and, and not be plu perfect. All right, we're going to come in now with Peekaboo Peach. Peekaboo Peach. Just going to make sure that's dried off a bit. And we're going to tap, tap, tap. And I'm going to layer this right over the top, like so. And it wouldn't be complete without a big gooey dripping of hot chocolate or hot fudge. Yum. So we have a stamp for that. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a stamp and that's what I did this with. Now I added the sequin mix. This is the sprinkle embellishments. Um, that are available also. It all comes as a suite. And um, I am not going to show you how to do that today because that took a little while to dry. But I adhered it with glossy accents. And so it's shiny and it looks like it's, you know, like a hard shell. All right, so we're going to come in with chocolate chip for our fudge. And this is really an, our old kind of stamp set. Um, but mine still works, so I, I'm using it. And we're just going to stamp on the top of this, trying to line that up as best I can, and get that nice gooey drip of chocolate on there. Yum! Now, it also needs a little cherry, so I'm going to do that as well. And I forgot that I was going to bring in the chocolate chip back. So I'll have to get that. And do the little stem. Because you have to have a little stem on your cherry. And again, just tap, tap, tap. Like so. Isn't that so cute? It's just such a fun and playful sweet. I really like it. All right. So I, here it is. I also use some of our washi. This comes in the sweet as well. I just put it in this box. But it comes with five, a couple that are thin, a couple that are thick, um, washi tape. So I am just going to go around the edges I have really been using a lot of washi tape in my projects lately, and I love it. It's so easy and quick to use, but adds so much um, pow, so to speak. And I'm just going to come up the sides on each side of my piece. Easy peasy. One more. Like so. So there you have your focal piece or your focal image. And uh, it's very cute. Super cute. All right. So let's take our pieces here that we have um, that are the smaller ones. And I'm using the sentiment that says, Happiest Birthday. And I'm doing this in the chocolate chip. And I'm doing this over to the left side a bit because I'm going to be flagging my um, piece here. With Well, that didn't work. Let's try that one again. <laughs> it happens, but luckily our paper has two sides, so we can try it again. All right, let's try this one more time here. Hopefully this will work. Yippee! Okay, so I am going to flag the ends of it, and I'm using our 
triple banner punch. And the nice thing about this is I can put both of these pieces in here right at the same time and they will cut the same. Okay, well that one didn't for some strange reasons. I'm just going to come back and get that one more little nibble like so. Um, you know what? Hmm. I'm going to redo. Redo. I'm going to come in and, well, hang on. Let me see if I can get, yeah. Okay. Okay. There. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to have this one kind of, you know, up above it. So, all right. That is how it goes when you're doing live well, not live, but recording. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to bang that. Okay, so I am going to take a piece of my um, pop-up die. I think it's going to go about there. We'll see. Let's pop our image up first. And I'm just going to use some of our pop dots to just do that. I use a lot of pop dots. And um, they're very quick and easy to use. I'm going to put this up towards the top, like so. And then my little banner here, I think it's going to go like that. And I may make this one come off to the side. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have this one go all the way to the side. And I'm going to put these two together so they don't drift away. But I'm also going to put some pop tots. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was out of frame here. I'm going to put some down here and I'm going to add just some tape like so. And I'm going to do this one all the way over here at the side because I like that really long piece. It's super cute. But we're not done yet. How about if we add some baker's twine? Okay, let's. I'm gonna wrap this around two times. One, two. And then I'm gonna bring it up here to the top. I've got way too much here, hold on. Well, that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna bring it to the top and tie my knot. I'm going to double knot it so it doesn't get away from me because that happens. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and tie my bow. And then I can kind of adjust it. And then I will show you also, uh, I've got some other cards that I made using this set. And, oh, excuse me. Let me grab my good scissors here. The good ones that they don't make anymore. I am so sad that they stopped stamping up, stopped making these because they were wonderful. So there you have it, you guys. That is my cute birthday. Oh, wait, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Hold on. Can't forget the cute little heart. Gosh. There. It wouldn't be complete without a cute little heart there. <laughs> can't forget that so here's two ways again one with the sprinkles and one without super cute love those so I hope you um, like those and that gives you some inspiration and then let me just share with you also some other cards that I did using the same stamp set and this first one, uh, I got the idea from my good friend, Miss Paula. She, um, this was one of our shoebox swaps, so she came up with this idea. Isn't that sweet? Love it, and I love the colors. Here's one that I did playing around today. Again, you're the cherry on my Sunday, and on the inside, I put happiest birthday and some little washi. 
And then this one I just cased from Pinterest. I have no idea who it came from, but it was cute. And again, it's using the washi and I love the little strawberry. And of course the designer series paper. And on the inside I wrote or stamped, I hope your day is as sweet as you are. And also used the washi and stamped one of the cute little strawberries. So there you have it, guys. There are four super fun ideas, and I keep banging that uh, uh, little spindle thing on my tripod, so I apologize for that. But there you have it, guys. You've got four cute cards. I hope this gives you some inspiration and you can pull your stamps out and get to playing today, too. So have fun stamping, and if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. All right, guys, take care. Thanks so much for visiting with the Happy Stamper. Bye!